Hey everybody, welcome to I Love Monsters and Horror 2. And um, I've mentioned to you a few times and showed you how I've been busy digging myself out of this big mess. Um, I have two rooms just full of a uh, collection I've accumulated over the past year while I've been dealing with leaky pipes and other situations. But a big part of this cleanup is tons of boxes and bags I have from online orders, uh, those things I've bought over a year ago and I still haven't even opened and I'm not even sure what all I have. So today we're gonna dig in and see what's in the mail. Um, first up, I did pull this out. I need something to wear. <laughs> and this is uh, from our friends at Pixel Elixir. Uh, this, if you remember the old TNC Surf Designs game on the original Nintendo, uh, this is a mock-up fake cover of that featuring Michael, Jason, and Freddy. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, also from them, like I said, if you get that red padded envelope, you're in for some awesomeness. Uh, I've showed you a few times before, um, they always pack it up with little extra goodies that they always send along there. Logo stickers, that's from their podcast. Um, more logos, Star Wars and Back to the Future. And sometimes you get these cool terror cards, or I forget what they're called. Uh, but this is from Night Rain Elm Street 3, the old trading card. And this is really awesome. Uh, this is a sticker a uh, fake uh, NES box cover of the thing as if it was a thing video game that's great and this is also amazing love this scream for super NES I would love to see them put out a whole line of these stickers of all these fake game mock-ups those are awesome and lastly uh, this is bookmark of this great artwork from the original Halloween so those are all freebies that they throw in your package for you. Uh, so let's see what I ordered from them. Uh, this time I got some enamel pins. And um, these are the classic Universal Monsters. But let's take this out. Look at that glare. <laughs> That's the other reason why I pulled this camera forward. Get closer so you guys can see. I'm actually trying to show you. Um, these are the classic Universal Monsters. But there's a, it's their take on it. They're much more gruesome and updated. Um, there you got it. Dracula, love that one. We got this um, Invisible Man, which I believe they have another variant of. Uh, I think it might be black and white. They do different versions, like do like a glow in the dark and lots of stuff like that. And lastly, this is, by the way, these are all from, as you see here, they're all from ser series one. I haven't seen news of a series two, but I would love more. But uh, this is Creature. And these are much bigger and heavier than any other enamel pins I have. So those three are great. Um, oh, <laughs> lastly, we got this little button from Troll 2 saying, oh my God. Love it. <laughs> so, all right. Next up we have, um, oh, got a book from Amazon. That's Stephen King's Cycle of the Werewolf, which some of you may know as Silver Bullet. This is the original short story. Um, and it's a really quick read, actually. Um, there's lots of, if you know, each chapter is the different month. So it's a full moon throughout the year. And when you take out all the, I mean, there's some great artwork in there, too. But when you take out all the uh, chapter breaks and blank pages and artwork, it's it's a short read it's only like 60 some pages i think like 65 or so but um yeah i look forward to finishing this love the movie so yeah got all this so stephen king's cycle of Werewolf, if you didn't know uh, next up i have my first uh international package uh royal mail this is um from lauren rankin art I uh, found her on Twitter, and she sells her stuff on Etsy. Um, she does lots of great stuff. She does lots of stickers 
and she has lots of earrings that people are always buying and showing off, but uh, there's her name. You can find her on Twitter and on Etsy. Lauren Rankin Art. Um, she, this is a, a series that she had made that I loved, and I just had to get, um, it's horror icons carving pumpkins. So you got Michael Myers with the Lori. You got Jason with his mother head um of course we got ghost face with sydney we have david with michael they're all holding knives oh we got of course love me some we got sam with his own unmasked face in the pumpkin and this one is amazing we got the new pennywise with the original Pennywise in a pumpkin. And these last two, we have a black and white creature and a black and white Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster with the bride in the pumpkin. So those are amazing. Definitely look her up. Again, Lauren Rankin Art. Um, let's move on to, oh, t-shirts. We mainly get these because if you're following along on Twitter and Facebook, I'm doing the 31 tees of Halloween and I'm a few days behind. So I needed more tees. So I dug these out. Uh, all three of these were from the same company from uh, Motif. Uh, M-O-T-E-E-F-E. -E -E. And I'm not even sure what all these were, but ordered these a while ago. Um, Oh, nice. We got this Jason every day of the week looking all sad. And then boom, it's Friday. That's excellent. So yeah, it was cool. You got to pick your design and your color and everything. And oh, I know what this, okay. I remember this one because the purple. And this is my very first purple shirt. So this is great. These are the Scare Bears. These are the Care Bears dressed up like our favorite horror icons, slashers. That is awesome. And lastly, we have, ah, oh, okay, good, good, good. This one is incredible. So we have our slasher killer there as cute little kids, but in the reflection, there they are grown up. There we go. And the full versions that we know them as. Gotta get these wrinkles out. But that is an awesome piece right there. So yeah, got those three. And again, check out my Twitter and Facebook for the 31 days of Halloween teas. Next, I got, let's see what Target. I got Spot driving the Target truck. See what he delivered. Oh, how odd for me. Two books in one video. But I did order the complete collection of scary stories to tell in the dark ordered this back when the movie came out because i was supposed to do a video review with somebody and i wanted this this background but i didn't that never happened but anyway um yeah i had one of these when i was a little kid i don't remember which but uh which is odd because it was not allowed to have stuff like this when i was little but somehow got one and uh yeah scared the crap out of me so that's great classic